Dawn breaks. The air is crisp, cool against my skin. The motorcycle roars to life beneath me. There's a thrill in that sound, a promise, and the wind whispering past your helmet. The world feels different from the seat of a motorcycle. It's a sensory experience, a symphony of sights, sounds, and smells. Freedom. It's a word that gets tossed around a lot, but on a motorcycle, it takes on a whole new meaning. It's the freedom to go where you want, when you want. No schedules, no itineraries, just the whim of the open road dictating your course. You can chase the sunrise in the east and be halfway across the country by nightfall chasing the sunset. It's the freedom to set your own pace. Want to linger in a charming town for a few days? Go for it. Feel the urge to burn rubber and cover some serious miles. The road is yours. There's no pressure, no one to answer to but yourself. Solo motorcycle travel is a journey of self-discovery. It's about discovering a strength you never knew you had. The solitude of the open road can be both exhilarating and daunting. It's a chance to disconnect from the world, to escape the constant barrage of information and stimulation. You're free to think, to dream, to simply be present in the moment. The silence, once disconcerting, becomes a source of peace. But solitude can also be a double-edged sword. There are times when the silence is deafening, when the loneliness creeps in like a fog. There's no one to share the beauty of a sunset, no one to laugh with when you take a wrong turn and end up in the middle of nowhere. You learn to be prepared for anything, to be self-sufficient. I remember one trip I took through the American Southwest. I'd been riding for days, the desert stretching out around me in all its stark beauty. I stopped for the night in a small town, population 200 if you counted the dogs. The only motel in town was a rundown affair with a flickering neon sign and a proprietor who looked like he'd seen a few things in his day. We got to talking, as people do in small towns, and he told me about his life, about the boom and bust cycles of the town, about the people who had come and gone. We sat there for hours, two strangers brought together by the open road sharing stories under the vast desert sky. It was a reminder that even in the most desolate of places, human connection can be found. Then there was the time I got caught in a torrential downpour in the mountains of Colorado. A group of Harley riders roared up beside me, their bikes gleaming under the deluge. They were the ones who stopped to help, sharing their shelter and their coffee. You're never truly alone when you travel by motorcycle. The open road has a way of introducing you to a cast of characters you might never meet otherwise. There are the fellow travelers you meet at rest stops and gas stations, sharing tales from the road over lukewarm coffee uh, there are the locals who welcome you into their communities, eager to share their corner of the world with you. And then there are the unseen companions, the ones who have traveled these roads before you, leaving behind their own stories in the asphalt and the wind. There's a certain camaraderie among motorcycle riders, a shared understanding of the call of the open road. It's an unspoken code of the road, a reminder that even in this age of individualism, we're all connected. 
Freedom, as they say, isn't free. And the freedom of the open road comes with its own set of challenges. Motorcycle travel can be physically demanding, long hours in the saddle taking their toll on your body. Weather can be unpredictable, turning a pleasant ride into a test of endurance in the blink of an eye. Motorcycles require more maintenance than cars and breakdowns, while part of the adventure can be stressful and time consuming. There's a certain amount of risk that comes with riding a motorcycle, a vulnerability that's hard to ignore. But for those who hear the call of the open road, these challenges are simply part of the deal. The rewards far outweigh the risks. There's a sense of accomplishment that comes from overcoming these challenges. And in that simplicity, you find a profound sense of freedom. There's a meditative quality to long distance motorcycle riding. The hum of the engine, the wind rushing past your helmet, the steady rhythm of the road. It all combines to create a state of almost trance-like focus. Your mind empties of all the clutter, all the worries and anxieties of everyday life. You become completely present in the moment focus solely on the road ahead. It's a chance to clear your head, to process your thoughts and emotions. Problems that seemed insurmountable back home somehow seem smaller, more manageable. You return from these journeys refreshed, rejuvenated, ready to face whatever life throws your way. It's a form of therapy, a way to reconnect with yourself and with the world around you. It's a reminder that there's a big wide world out there just waiting to be explored. There's a primal instinct within us, I believe, that yearns for the open road. For centuries, humans have been drawn to the unknown, to the adventure and freedom of exploration. The open road is our modern day frontier a place where we can still experience a taste of that primal urge. It's a chance to test our limits, to push ourselves beyond our comfort zones. It's a chance to reconnect with nature, to feel the wind in our hair and the sun on our faces. The motorcycle is simply the tool that allows us to answer that call. It's a machine that connects us to the road to the elements, to the world around us. And when you're riding solo, that connection is even stronger. So, if you ever find yourself feeling restless, if you ever feel the need to break free from the ordinary, I urge you to answer the call of the open road. Pack your bags, hop on your motorcycle, and go. Go explore this beautiful, messy, complicated world we live in. Go get lost. Go find yourself. Go have an adventure. <laughs>